the contents of the triangle. Contents of the popliteal fossa, the superficial one are the nerves, the common peroneal nerve and the tibial nerve. Common peroneal nerve runs along the medial border of the biceps femoris muscle. It Then it runs on the lateral head of gastrocnemius muscle. It runs around the neck or fibula and comes to the anterior compartment and it divides into a superficial peroneal nerve and a deep peroneal nerve. It gives branches, genicular branches, the, superfi the superior lateral genicular, the inferior lateral genicular and recurrent genicular. It gives two cutaneous branches. The only muscular branch that it supplies is the one which goes to the short head of biceps femoris muscle. The next is the tibial nerve. Tibial nerve runs in the center of the popliteal fossa. It gives genicular branches in the upper part. One sural cutaneous branch in the middle part of the fossa and number of number of muscular branches number of muscular branches in the lower part of the popliteal fossa next to that is the popliteal vein it receives the short saphenous vein besides other tributaries the deepest is the popliteal artery it enters the fossa through the opening in the adductor magnus muscle, runs along the floor and at the distal border of at the distal border of popliteus muscle, it ends by dividing into anterior tibial and the posterior tibial vessels. This particular artery the popliteal artery starts at the opening in the adductor magnus muscle, runs along the floor of the popliteal fossa and ends at the distal border of popliteus muscle by dividing into a posterior tibial and an anterior tibial artery.